Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again, from my front seat. And here we are giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Why? Because this is the day which the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He founded it. He established it. He established it. In fact, he founded it. It all belongs to him. It's just up to you and I to do what to get with the program. So I was going to share something that happened uh, within these last couple of weeks, but then I just read something. And so let's go another way. Okay. So um, I'm sure we have all seen, repeated, read, heard. Communication is what? Key. Communication is what? Paramount communication is what necessary I don't care what it is that we find ourselves doing what you find yourself doing what I find myself doing beloved communication is key oh yeah I'm at work in the building today yep mm -hmm. So on Mondays and Tuesdays are my office days, however, and so I usually leave my computer on Monday because I'll be back on Tuesday. Well, I did not make it in on yesterday. So today I was like, oh my goodness, girl, you got to go in the office. Well, last night, you know, because my computer is here, but anyhow, never mind. Beloved, communication is key. I don't care if you are in a working relationship, in a loving relationship, familial relationship. Communication is key. Whether you communicate verbally, whether you communicate in sign, whether you communicate pen and paper, whether you communicate with your eyes, Brother Banks used to say, it's in the eyes. Whether you, however, whether you communicate, you know, if you're an animated person, you know, sometimes you talk with your hands, you, you know, whatever. Communication is key. Beloved, we must learn that we must communicate with our Heavenly Father. I challenge you on today. I submit to you on today great things are on the horizon let's communicate with Jesus we must communicate with Jesus God is not looking for us to be perfect but he does look for us to communicate with him I was reading something that a uh, pastor friend of mine, Pastor Brackett, wrote, and those were his sentiments. Beloved, we know the word of God lets us know that when we seek God, we will find God. So on today, communicate with Jesus. Call his name out throughout the day. Now, Jesus, in about 30 minutes, I'm going to get out of this car, and and I'm I'm asking you just to, you know, Take me up on that elevator. Bless me with a good day today. Uh, Jesus, you brought me safely in. Jesus, I was on the wake-up list this morning. Jesus just began to communicate with him, all right? And then we must do what? Make it a habit. So I have my coffee. I have a side of bacon. Ain't no bacon at home. So I guess I'm going to have to go to the grocery store this weekend and get some bacon. And... um yet I like the pork stuff so I'm going to take my breakfast and then in about half an hour I'm going to make my way upstairs and I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar and if it be the Lord's will we'll meet again on when on tomorrow from where from my front seat this your girl Sharon and I'm out y'all deuces